So I wanted to thank you all for coming today and for waiting. It was kind of a busy, busy day on the floor today. My name is Lori Pohutsky and I represent Michigan's 19th House District and the families of Livonia. As you all know, in the final days of the 2017-2018 term, legislative Republicans narrowly pushed through House Bill 4205, limiting Michigan's ability to issue rules and guidelines designed to keep our families safe to standards determined by the federal government. The so-called uh, no stricter than federal law prevents our state from creating standards more stringent than the relevant federal ones, blocking the people of Michigan from deciding for themselves what is best for our communities. Despite strong opposition from residents, lawmakers from both parties, and over 80 employees from the MDEQ under the Snyder administration, the outgoing governor signed the bill into law in his last few hours in office. In the midst of mounting environmental crises, lead in Flint, groundwater contamination in Livonia, PFAS in almost too many communities to count, Republicans gave up our state's authority to respond to the ecological and man-made threats that we all face. But I can tell you the people of my community are not willing to wait for Washington to get up to speed on Michigan's unique challenges and decide what's best for us, especially when millions of Michiganders can't even trust the water that is coming out of their faucets. That's why I'm proud to stand here today with my colleagues and stakeholders from across the state to call for the repeal of this terribly misguided law. My House Bill 4386 puts the power back in the hands of the people of Michigan because no one knows our state better than the hardworking families that live here. And we deserve to decide for ourselves the standards necessary for keeping our community safe. I'll now pass it off to Representative Donna Lazinski, who was one of the most prominent voices in trying to prevent the no stricter than federal law from passing last term. Thank you, Representative Pohutsky. So as uh, Representative Pohutsky mentioned, my name is Donna Lasinski, and I represent Western Washtenaw County in the 52nd House District. During lame duck, uh, the no stricter than federal bill was brought up several times on the House floor. I began to joke that it was Groundhog Day uh, because over and over I spoke against the no stricter than federal rule. It happened more times than I, that I hoped, and at one point, the bill was pulled after I spoke only to come back again. But even before lame duck, clean water has been a primary issue for myself and my families in my district and for the families across the state of Michigan. My home township of Sio Township is the home to the dioxin plume, which is spread from my township into the city of Ann Arbor and has closed one of the primary drinking wells for the entire city. Every time my message has been the same, we need to protect the health and safety of Michigan residents and to protect clean drinking water for all. Remember, we hear over and over because it's true. We are the stewards of 20% of the world's fresh water and 90% of our nation's fresh water. We have a solemn duty to hold ourselves to a higher standard. When we're on the ground every day as representatives fighting to protect our families, we are the people here, not the bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. We know what rules and guidelines will work for the families in Michigan. In fact, we just underwent a multi-year study of Michiganders. We looked at how often we're outside, how often we're inside, how long we live in our homes, how often we play and recreate in our lakes and rivers. And we came up with the appropriate safe chemical standards for Michiganians. Because Michiganians are not Mississippians. A single federal, federal standard does not meet our needs. And the rules we set for Michigan, whether or not they're stricter than federal, should be the rules for Michigan, the rules that best serve our families. And as we look to this, and as, as the crowd of colleagues behind me and standing with us grows and grows, you can see this is a priority for all of us. And we're so proud to have partners and allies joining along with us. And with that, it's now my honor to introduce Nicholas Ocapinti uh, to speak from the League of Conservation Voters. Hi, everybody. I'm Nick Ocapinti. I'm the Government Affairs Director at the Michigan League of Conservation Voters. Now, last year, the Michigan legislature passed a bill that would essentially defer critical decisions about the protection of our natural resources and our public health to the federal government. Right now, that means leaving our protections in the hands of the Trump administration. 
at a time when that administration is working continuously to roll back longstanding environmental rules and standards, this legislation limits Michigan's ability to do what's right on behalf of our land, air, water, and people. Now, no stricter than federal largely prohibits Michigan agencies from creating or adopting rules that are more stringent than parallel federal standards. Unless an agency can prove there is a clear and convincing need, language that was chosen because of the extremely high legal threshold it sets. This bill would effectively restrict Michigan's agencies to only regulating in crisis mode. Federal standards are not designed to serve as a floor. Um, they're not a ceiling for our protection. Federal standards, excuse me, are designed to serve as a floor, not a ceiling for our protections. They do not account for the unique attributes of Michigan, the unique coastlines, the wonderful sand dunes, all the features that make this the place that we know and love. And we need the broad authority here in Michigan to protect the environment for our health, for our communities, and for future generations. In Michigan, of course, our Great Lakes, our natural resources, are our way of life. This is blunt and far-reaching policy. It is unworthy of our great state. And I thank you so much, representatives, for introducing this uh, legislation and uh, look forward to answering questions afterwards. Thank you. I'd like to bring up Sean McGrudy from uh, the, <coughs> excuse me, from Clean Water Action to speak next. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Pahutsky and Representative Lazinski and all the lawmakers uh, joining us today in support of repealing No Stricter Than Federal. My name is Sean McBrearty, and I'm the Michigan Program Organizer for Clean Water Action, which is our state's largest environmental organization with over 250,000 members across the state. We're proud to join today in supporting a repeal of the dangerous and short-sighted No Stricter Than Federal law, which was passed during lame duck session in December. The minimum environmental protections passed at the federal level are just that, minimums. They are not designed or intended to protect an ecosystem or drinking water supply as complex and critical as the Great Lakes. Here in Michigan, we know that we're surrounded by 21% of the world's fresh water and over 90% of the American fresh water supply. We have a special obligation to protect the Great Lakes. In fact, Michigan Supreme Court has recognized that our state has a solemn and perpetual duty to protect the Great Lakes for the use and enjoyment of Michigan residents. We cannot protect the Great Lakes and our other water resources while relying on federal minimums. Michigan needs the regulatory flexibility to be as protective of our water resources as necessary. Recent water crises from the Flint water crisis to issues with PFAS and other contaminants that have been increasing across the state show that we must do more to protect our water, not less. Chaining ourselves to outdated federal minimums is irresponsible. It will only kick the can down the road, leaving future generations with larger problems to address. No Stricter Than Federal is a regulatory giveaway to major corporate polluters that ignores the needs of Michigan residents and our environment. Now, the first time No Stricter Than Federal was passed in Michigan in 2011, it was rightly vetoed by Governor Snyder. The bill narrowly passed the State House in 2017 with bipartisan opposition, and for political reasons, the State Senate decided not to take action until the 2018 lame duck session. No stricter than federal makes it much more difficult for state agencies like the Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy to regulate contaminants. This is especially problematic when we consider the fact that there is only a federal advisory level for PFAS right now, and even that advisory level is likely seven to 10 times too high. We need to set a state drinking water standard for PFAS chemicals that is protective of human health and our environment, and based on the most up-to-date science, no stricter than federal will make that much harder to do. Today, we call on our elected officials in the Michigan State House to pass House Bill 4386 and repeal no stricter than federal to ensure that Michigan has all the tools we need at our disposal to protect the Great Lakes and the health of Michigan residents. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. I'd like to call uh, Thomas Gilpin from the Sierra Club. Thank you, Representative, and thank you both representatives and all the other lawmakers here for introducing this legislation. 
this very critical and important legislation to the state of Michigan. Michigan, as some of my colleagues had mentioned before, is a steward of our great resources we have here. It is our job as residents of the state of Michigan and as citizens of the world to help protect our water. The huge, vast, clean, drinking water resource we have in Michigan, which is unparalleled anywhere else, for sure in this country. When the original bill was moving through the legislature, I don't believe its supporters really understood the tremendous impact it would have. And repealing this law must be the first step towards protecting our natural resources here in Michigan and helping to shape our own identity and put us as a leader in the forefront of the fight to keep our drinking water safe. Thank you. Thomas Gilpin, Michigan Sierra Club, Volunteer Legislative Director. Thank you, Thomas. So while all of us here are keenly aware of the impact this law has on protecting our communities in terms of our water and our air and our soil, it's important to remember that this is not just about environmental protections. This law prohibits us from establishing rules around health care, campaign finance, LGBTQ rights, sustainable agriculture, education, women's productive rights, and much, much more. The impact of this law is incredibly far-reaching and even more dangerous. We all know that our state is unique, and so are the challenges that we face here. One-size-fits-all federal guidelines cannot adequately, adequately address the real problems our communities face every day. This is our state, and we should have the freedom to make the rules that work for us on the issues that we care about. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to join me in my call to repeal this no stricter than federal law and put the power back in the hands of the people here in Michigan.